Okay, folks, so just a review video on today's report and how you should be using it. So obviously, FTSE Trade Plan gives you the video of what we're expecting. Uh, in that video, we were, we were basically looking for a pullback. So um, I just summarize, basically what I do is I summarize the video of a few statements here. So FTSE remains bullish, but a pullback is looming up to five updates. So we were looking, we were looking actually for the market to move back lower today. And we said the five-minute bar was a, was was good to target bar length either way. So if it broke up, was it was good. If it broke down, it was good. But um, we'll cover that in a second, actually, because um, I actually wasn't I wasn't going to take the bar break up in my trade room. Um, so I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, strong resistance at seven thousand. So we got up there. We were looking to sell it. And then also I said if it got down to 6,900, you could look for reversals to buy it. Target 10 points, um, 10 to 20 points, and therefore if your target's 10 to 20 points, your stop also needs to be 10 to 20 points. Um, the medium term forecast is a like a swing trade, a longer term trade. So uh, this was just saying that um, if we do get a pullback into the mid 6,800 range to, to 6,785, that would present a good buying opportunity for the Christmas rally which usually comes into the back, into the back end uh, two back end weeks of uh, December of course um, the the stop on that needs to be a, a really it's it's, a, it's actually a, a break back below the um, the December low so the lowest price in December would be um, the stop on that one all right, so let's just have a look at the price action. Okay, so let's cover the first five-minute bar. So this is the five-minute bar here. Forms at 8 o'clock in the morning at the open. And then really you're just waiting for uh, the, the, the market to break two pips above it to trigger it long or, or trigger it uh, short. So you can see the higher the bar was 67, 69.73. You round it up to 69.74. Two pips above there gets you in at 69.76. Um, of course, that never triggered because it didn't break the bar. So the the, the five-minute bar never broke to the upside. It did break to the downside, though. Lowest price, 69.53. So we were entered at 69.51. Um, bar length was um, 20 points. So your target, 20 points below the lowest price, 69.53, is of course 69.33. So that was your target. Um, and your stop is priced two pips above the high of the bar, and that that of course worked nicely um, today, and and we drifted down towards the target. Um, actually, in, in my trade room, we we we'd identified that we didn't want to go long. Actually, what we what we were going to do was um, if um, if the five minute bar broke up and traded bar length to the upside, we were actually going to sell it because I didn't really want to buy the five minute bar break up after five up days in a row because again looking for this pullback that we've we've seen to the downside um, and then actually we identified we had a trending day so actually sort of recommended that we you know day traders could look to sell reversals on the way down today uh, now the other part of the um, the trade plan was to, to, to to sell up at 7,000, well, obviously we didn't get that opportunity, but we did get the opportunity to buy down at 6,900. The only, the only issue here was it was very close to the U.S. Open, so it has worked. You have seen you have seen a, a, a 10 to 20 point reaction off 6,900. It's it's got up to uh, 6,927 so far, but as I said, the only niggle here was it was a little bit close to the U.S. Open for my liking. Now, of course you definitely needed some sort of reversal signal to get in so let me just show you quickly uh, on the one minute chart you can use the one minute chart um, this is the price action moving down to 6900 there's no reason to buy it here negative candle negative candle negative candle negative candle negative it's all negative here um, really the the first chance to sort of get in is is um, it's is is really when it when it you know when it busts up through sixty nine hundred again if you're going to take it into the U.S. market, um, so you know you clearly had uh, uh, you got a one two three off the lows here, but then. You